Hello, and welcome to another Demon 212 WiiWare review. Today I'm going to take a look at Action Loop Twist or Magnetica Twist if you're in North America. Although it's not actually out there yet. Hopefully you guys will get it soon because it's a pretty good game. Basically, it's a puzzle game and if you've ever played Zuma before then this is, well, this is the game that started the Zuma trend because Zuma, I believe, copied off them but I don't know 100% so let's just leave it at that. Basically the whole point is you have to match up sets of three balls and to do that you actually have a unique control system for this one that makes it a bit more playable. Basically you have to twist the Wiimote to turn and that's all you do. You don't use the pointer or anything so you don't have to worry about that. So that's basically the whole point of the gameplay and as you can see you can get chains by doing things like that. So that's pretty much the entire review done however there are quite a lot of modes so I'll just basically go to the menu and try and show you some of the modes. As you can see there's a multiplayer and I will show you that a bit later. Um, quick play, the one I was on, basically goes up to 100 levels and as you can see in the picture there's a ship and the ship comes along and you just have to shoot the ship or destroy all the balls that the ship's pushing along and then it'll go away. You get more points if you do that one, so that's definitely the one to go for. Then you can go into this mode where as you can see things are zoomed out a little bit, the balls are smaller, which if you've got bad eyesight like myself it makes it a bit harder. And there's also a bigger pattern, a bigger playing field. These are just basically the challenge mode type things, the quests where you play the same style of game. There's nothing really any different, but uh, it's just more. More of it basically, that's uh, pretty much the best way to say it I suppose. But uh, So that's that one, and there's not much point in sh continue showing you the, that mode because it is just basically the quick plays. Just, well, it's quite odd because the quick play says it's quick play, but the challenge mode is actually faster to get into and it's faster to use because you don't have to break it up by little cut screen type things, seeing that you've moved up 10 levels. So it's odd. Anyway, this is the quest mode. The quest is quite fun. It's basically, uh, I'll just go on to continue just so I can show you a few of the different things. Basically, you get to choose the difficulty level you want to go on, and unfortunately, you can't just play all of them. You have to start again. I didn't know that, so I just straight away went for the easy. But well, there's things like this here where you get a different board and you have to clear 30 gemstones. This one here which I'll show you now, you've got to clear 20 purple gemstones in 120 seconds. And you can also get items on the quest mode as well, like this over here if I just try and hit it, splits me balls up, so I fire two of that colour. Which basically means I can delete single balls now as well, because obviously it then counts as three. So that's pretty much that, and that's uh, one of the quest modes, I'll just change quest and just show you some of the others. To be fair I might as well show you one of the boss fights because pretty much all of these are the same game but doing different things so claiming 50 gemstones and stuff like that. Unfortunately that's not going to let me choose one of that bosses there so I'll have to choose this one. Basically this one, this thing here, spits out gemstones and you have to del delete them before they touch you. You can't actually shoot it or anything so you can't destroy it like that. The whole point is you just have to shoot the gemstones. And if the gemstones, as I say, touch your character that's in the middle of the screen, then you lose. So it's very similar to the normal game, where but instead of the gemstones having to touch the hole, they have to touch you. You can also get bonus modes, like this one here, which basically this bonus mode is, you actually have enemies, and you can destroy said enemies with the balls. So you can try and do clever rebound shots if you want to, and just uh, stuff like that. That's pretty much the whole of quest mode. There's, as I say though, there's loads of different modes and all that on quest mode, but I don't want to show you too many because I don't want to spoil anything for you. And then you've got the records mode here, which records is obviously just records, where you can view records for the me and all that. You can view your, well for example, your rotation, speed and stuff like that. And then options is just simply where you can customise a few things. Because if you choose random balls, then you get new balls as you go along. So basically that's what you want to do to unlock more of them. But then it means you, you can like choose which ball type you preferred best. So out of this one, I preferred them. And all the other characters that you can sign up can do that. You can also choose BGM and stuff like that. And then finally, it's the multiplayer, which is just basically still the same game as always. And as you can see, you can play it with computers. So I'll put it on computer and uh, just basically choose me me. Although, typical, it's not letting you do on to it, so you must still have to have two humans or something. So I'll just best off going on two player and picking up a second Wiimote. And then from here you can choose co-op or battle. Co-op modes are possibly the best. Today's pick is basically it chooses randomly three different things. Co-pilot is one of you turns and one of your fires. That mode's a little tricky to do, especially seeing as I'm on my own here today. So I'll do this one, which is split ball, where basically 
I get two colours and the other person gets two colours. And if you're playing on a high difficulty level, then someone might get three colours and the likes. But basically, I've got green here and on the other way more, well, sorry, I've got green and red and on the other way more, I've got blue and yellow. So it's one of them things where you have to work together. So I'll just show you the other mode, which is just simply battle, because uh, on co-op the only other mode is basically Annihilation, where it's just the normal game, you have to delete as many balls. So there we go then, the modes on here you've got things like attack each other with blockers, keep the rocket out of your side, be the first to clear all the gemstones, and you can choose first to one, two or three. You can also go and help if you want to, and there, that's pretty much that, and I'll just show you this one here. And the whole point is, you can choose different stages obviously, and you can choose the random, but the whole point is, if the balls get into your hole, then you lose. And that's pretty much it then. So you've basically got to delete the blocks as much as you can, so that the, uh, so that the opponent loses. So I'll just delete blocks with this side, and then let nothing happen on the other side. One of the things I forgot to mention is basically you can lob balls. So you can do things like that, and just lob balls either into your opponent's stage, or just lob them into your back row. You can do this on the main game as well, and it's quite useful because it's the type of thing that if like there's nothing you can actually delete on your front row and you're about to die, you can just fire back to your back row and delete a few blocks there. So that's uh, pretty much that. I'll shut up for a few seconds on one of the modes, so just let you listen to the music. I might as well do it on here to be fair. That was a bit of music. As you might have also saw, you can also get different wet items when you're on the multiplayer mode. Things like clouds, which basically it shroud your opponent in a cloud. You can get things that make their axes turn slower. You can get stopwatches and stuff, which basically stop the balls from moving or slow them down. So there's all sorts of different things. And you can also go on advice if you want to, if you're not too good at the game and you want a little bit of help. So there we go then. That's been the review. I hope you found it helpful. I don't score the games because that's based purely on opinion, so instead I'll leave you to make your own mind up. So thanks for watching, and if you've got any questions about the game that I didn't answer in the vid or that hasn't been answered in the comments, then feel free to ask and I'll help if I can. Also, if you did find it helpful, don't forget to check out my channel because there's plenty more like this up there, and don't forget to subscribe because there'll be plenty more to come as well. So until next time, this has been Demon212, signing off.